Hello everyone, thanks for being here. Welcome to the channel. The general is here as well. We've had an epic roll as usual. It was, uh, yeah, make sure to check it out. It'll be, you know, it'll be up soon. Um, so today we're gonna address uh, a video that I watched. Uh, uh, I would explain to Mike uh, uh, earlier. Um, it came out like th this week. Um, it was uh, actually a Viking Samurai video. Shout out to David. Um, all, all respect to, to Viking Samurai. Great channel, a lot of fun to watch. Um, he was, uh, so he's issued uh, a challenge um, to Michael Bisping for a fight. Um, so, a little backstory. And feel free. I'll link the I'll link the actual video, the the in the in the description. So I don't have to explain all of it here. But um, we're just going to talk about like why that might not be uh, like an entirely reasonable proposition from uh, Michael Bisping's perspective as a as an uh, MMA champion, like a world champion. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you want to you want to take a little bit? Yeah. I mean, like so. Um if you're looking at it from Michael Bisping's perspective, you know, he's a world champion and he went about it the hard way. You know, he had the long, hard road, and I don't really think it matters what type of road you have. If you got to that level, you know, you paid your dues over and over and over again. Um, and, you know, like, I just think, like, you know, like, he's not going to accept, like, challenge matches and things like that. And, like, you know, it's just like, you know, like, you got to, like, you, you earn the opportunity to like compete against somebody like Michael Bisping. You don't just get to, I mean like, you know, call him out all you want or whatever, but you don't just like, you know, he's not gonna, he's not gonna entertain that. You know what I mean? And he, he really has no reason to. He's, you know, fought at the highest level. He's won at the highest level. He's paid his dues over and over again. And once you accept one, like even if you think like, oh, like, you know, we can put on like an event, maybe make some money, especially in this like celebrity boxing style era, you know, you take one and then you got to be ready to take another and another because then you just open the floodgates, the floodgates as well, you yeah. know, to entertain something that, you know, is not entirely realistic. Yeah, yeah. And uh, additionally, I think, um, like, it's, I'm not saying not to, you know, go out and get a fight, right? Like, if you want to train, like, fighting, like, definitely do it no matter who you are. I, think, I, you know, I would say, right? But it's like, yeah. you know, like, go out and get a fight with someone who is of equal experience of, as yours, you know, like, train a little bit. Get a fight. Yep. That's cool. You know, go challenge yourself. Maybe you like it. Do some more fights, and then maybe after a while, uh, yeah, you could fight somebody well known. You know, as a fighter, but uh, right as well. And like the other thing is, like I think, I think uh, you need to, to respect retirement a little bit. Um, you know, I've been retired for like five years now, and I had a couple people call me out post retirement, and I'm like, respect the fact that I that I decided to be done. You yeah. know, I fought a 12 year career. You know, I had some good moments, some bad moments, and when I decided it was time for me to be done competing, you know, I would like people to respect that, not like, you know, be like, oh, you won't fight me, you pussy, like, da, da, da. I'm like, dude, like, I've been retired for three years, like, you know, like, retirement's retirement, you know, like, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight. Yeah, yeah, and uh, additionally, if you're trying to challenge yourself, I think a much greater challenge is to establish a routine, like, that's difficult, like, say, for example, you take up jujitsu, uh, like, this is not easy to do. Um, see how sweaty we are and beat up and stuff. Uh, and I think that's maybe a, a more serious challenge to, to maintain that over the rest of your life and, and just continue to grow and learn in a, you know something that's like a live resistance art where people are always trying to stop you from doing what you want to do rather than trying to like fight one person just to kind of prove something. Like, I mean, do whatever you want to do, but I feel like that's the, the yeah. other, you know. And I mean, do you, like, you know, like, it's like, how much real beef can you have with someone you don't know? Yeah. You know, yeah. so, like, yeah, I just... Yeah. Wouldn't really entertain it, you know, from one perspective or another. But like, you know, you never know. Like, like, like we were talking about the celebrity boxing like era, like stuff like that come around. Because like, you know, I mean, like, if it was something that could make like a whole sh shit ton of money, like, you know, maybe that can like money. Like everybody has a price. So like, yeah. yeah. But it, it, if it's un if it's an unrealistic thing, right? Like, if someone calls me out, right? Like, what are we gonna make? Like how much? How much? How much tickets are we gonna sell? Like ten thousand dollars worth? It's like not worth it. Like in the least. Yeah. You know, so. And additionally, if you're gonna to decide to get into some MMA, um, maybe you should train under somebody who has trained, you know, some MMA fighters before. I don't. I'm, I'll. I will admit ignorance on Frank Dukes's uh, stable of fighters that he has trained, and you have gone to fight in things. But I'm not familiar with anybody who has claimed Frank Dukes as their. Coach, I, I don't know if you are. I'm not not familiar as well. Yeah. So I, I, I again, I'm not. I, I'm not saying what Frank Dukes does or doesn't know. Frank Dukes has more bullshit in his life story than Vito Belfort has steroids in his left ass cheek. <laughs> <laughs> saying Frank Dukes was a liar does not give this man credit. He could fill 
every black hole in the universe with his bullshit and Dukes is still at it. But I've never heard of anybody who he has trained who has been a successful fighter. Yeah. So if that's the case, maybe get somebody who has done this before, you know. Uh, so yeah, I think that's, uh, I don't know, any further, uh, yeah. nope. About it covers it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, thanks to again all respect to Viking Samurai great videos. I hope to have them on the show and stuff. Um, but this is just from the like people who work in an MMA gym, you know, perspective of like, is it likely that Michael Bisping is gonna accept this fight? I think he has to probably. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to the general for being here. Do the liking. Do the subscribing. Hit the bell and come down. Here.